All right, guys. So it seems that Doom 2 maps uh, have been already released in msf.gg. And we're going to check them out. So first of all, when you go to msf.gg, on the menu button on the top right, uh, you can check maps. And once you get to maps, you can choose whichever ride, raid you want to see. And in the bottom here, you can see Doom 2. All right. So first of all, uh, we can see that it's sort of divided for two groups instead of the three groups that we have at the moment. But there are uh, basically four, uh, so, sorry, di three different lanes in 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 the sections in the two sort of parts of the of the raid. And let's check these uh, notes out a bit. So first of all, let's start from the left side, and we're checking bio notes. And over here you can see what sort of characters do they have. And from what, what I see, the level of the characters is level 88. And this is this Doom 2.0. Level 88, uh, they're still gear tier 15. And they all have uh, 4 red stars and 7 yellow stars. So that doesn't seem too difficult. But let's check the nodes and, and the waves. So the first wave on this node has, okay, Doctor Strange, always dangerous, Ghost, Emma, uh, and uh, Electro Shocker. I don't remember her name, but one of those. Strife, I don't think Strife or Vision is that dangerous, but... I think this first note seems, and the first wave seems quite doable. The second wave drops when four, uh, when there's less than four enemies remaining from the first wave. And we got Black Bolt, we got Elsa Bloodstones, and we got Merc Lieutenant. So this seems quite a doable note, uh, and I don't think there's anything particularly danger is in here. You definitely have priority targets like Doctor Strange, Emma, uh, and on the second wave, of course, Black Bolt, Merc Lieutenant. Elses are also quite annoying with the symbiote, so those might be sort of a priority. All right, so that's the first, first node. Let's check the second node, and then I'm going to be checking out if these nodes are uh, similar or copied copied from the other notes. So this note has, okay, so they're a bit tougher. They're one level higher. They have one more red star, gear tier 15 still. But this note definitely has uh, more dangerous characters. For example, Phyla Well, uh, who can uh, clean, do barrier, and offense downs and, and and such and of course Zemo mm, there's no summons in here I think that's intentional because they don't want our symbiotes to be speeding up too much but from the looks of this uh, there is on the second wave we have uh, Moon Knight which is quite, quite difficult and we have uh, Phyla Wells and and even Bishop in there. So this definitely seems doable, but a lot less, uh, a lot tougher than the first one. All right. So let's go back a bit and see the bio boss note. And all right. All right. So this is looking really tough we have a, a one more level again so level 19 they got one more red star so six red stars instead of four or five as in the first nodes and this node the first waves already seems dangerous 
because we have a, a taunter who, who taunts from the start and we got rescue who can cleanse our debuffs and and shield up the enemies and of course we got doom so what i can get from this is that uh, this is definitely going to be a hard node and you will need, need to be playing this really carefully if you want to win it and the second wave is looking super dangerous we got uh, Kestrel Black Bolt, we got Sharon Carter, we got we got uh, Captain Sam, and two pingers, speed up, control. Yeah, that's that's not a nice looking wave. The last one definitely looks a bit more manageable. Bishop taunting at the start, of course, dangerous. Gamora, also of course dangerous. And one interesting question is if if this Gamora is actually the one that we can play with. So can she go uh, God mode or not? I'm not sure. All right, so I think that is the bio node. Let's just check real fast if the nodes are or are like the same on each of these. And to me, it seems like they are. Just making one more check. Oh, just a second. Uh, over there. And let's check this note. Yes. So it seems that all the notes are the same. Okay. So what I can get from Bio is that it feels definitely dangerous. Uh, the Bio boss note seems really hard. But at least this time we we can always expect three or four character, uh, three or four players to be clearing these nodes together. So maybe that helps. Just need to make sure that we can actually clear those uh, previous nodes be notes before the boss node. All right. So next is skill. Let's check these ones. Okay, so we got some new characters in here. We have uh, Jubilee and we have Iceman. And we have Rhino. We have actually two Rhinos. So I'm wondering if they're like uh, sort of prepared for Taskmaster maybe. For the blinds or something. Um, to me this seems manageable. You need to control, control Jubilee of course. But other than that, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Uh, the second wave uh, has Bishop, has Green Goblins, Black Bolt. So this is like super damaging uh, wave. They got a lot of damage. And as we know, Green Goblin seems to be doing a lot more damage uh, on the AI side. If you compare it to the player side. So they're actually hitting quite hard in the nodes and, and and raids and dark dimensions but all right this seems manageable at least the first wave so let's go to the second second node and we can see here the same progress so from 88 to 89 to 19 the 4 to 5 to 6 red stars and they all geared to 15 which is good because if they would be geared to 16, it would be, of course, a lot harder. So in this wave, we have definitely uh, problematic characters. So I'm expecting, of course, uh, Silver Surfer to, Surfer to be really annoying. Uh, depending on where Blob is and where, she's, uh, where he is doing his deflects, it might be super annoying. We got also Negasonic Warhead. Uh, who can do a lot of burst at the start. So that's really annoying. We got Falcon, who, if left alone, can be super dangerous, with, especially with the special. So the ultimate ain't that sort of dangerous, but the special definitely is. And we got yellow jackets, and we got two of them. And I'm feeling like those yellow jackets might be the sort of the same as as wasp have been in in 
Doom 1.1 the tech uh, lane. So they might be just deleting people out of nowhere. And because their ultimate has that mechanic of, of just going again if they kill someone. So I'm really expecting that you need to be controlling those guys. And of course there's shield uh, security. So you need to be wondering who are you controlling at what time. And who are you putting under 50% at what time. Just to make sure that, that shield uh, security doesn't screw your node up okay second wave another silver surfer always dangerous we got um magneto most likely will have uh, some sort of a uh, speed manipulation i mean he might start off with a bit more speed than usual because there's no brotherhood characters in this node except for uh the blob in the previous wave so you need to be careful about uh, blob taunting when you try to kill Magneto definitely need to be aware of that I'm not too worried about Polaris or Wasp Wasp is definitely dangerous for the damage but other than that I don't I don't think she's too super dangerous I would be more careful about the about the yellow jackets than I would be about the Wasp all right, so let's check out the skill boss node. All right. Okay, so we have a Taskmaster is doing blind at the start. We have a, we have Doom, who's always dangerous. Luckily, uh, the skill characters have a lot of control so you can do some ability blocks uh, turn meter rewinds and stuff like that uh, to make that doom manageable we got Thanos and I'm not sure about his energy or speed or whatever but if he's taunting right away that might be a problem if not uh, then we probably need to be uh, trying to manage him in a way that his taunt won't come in the way of us trying to finish off Doom. Polaris, I'm not sure if we should be worried about them, but two of them? Because the Pleats uh, will stack up and they will just do extra damage when they, when we have Pleats, so two Polaris might, might actually be dangerous. Okay? So the second wave has more Taskmaster, Corvus, and, and Ghost. Um, definitely more will be annoying doing the special and the ultimate. So might need to be controlling him. Taskmaster always dangerous. And of course, the same way as in uh, the Ghost. I'm not too worried about Corvus, but of course at this level, he might just, uh, he might just wipe people out of the board right away. And the last wave doesn't look too dangerous, but it just might be that at this point you are so low on health and characters that these, these guys will just come in and just wipe you away. Alright, uh, to me skill doesn't seem particularly dangerous. I think we the skill characters that we have at the moment are pretty good. And it feels like they have the control needed to manage those those nodes, of course, if you don't have the secret adventures, that might be a problem. All right, next is tech. So let's see. The same system continues here. Level 88, four reds, uh, gear tier 15. Okay, so we have uh, two taunters at the start. That means that killing Scarlet Witch is not that easy. We have a uh, Silver Surfer. Of course, doing his stuff, and when um, Scarlet Witch and Vision can be doing their stuff without worry of dying, uh, they are dangerous. But usually, I don't care too much about uh, for, about them because it feels like Scarlet Witch is so squishy that usually you can just deal with her before they actually can do their uh, their usual ten tandem sort of a thing so but this wave has two 
taunter, so that might be a problem. I'm not sure. It doesn't look too dangerous still. <clears throat> okay, the second wave has cloak. And <clears throat> that's definitely a problem. Um, we don't have... Uh, we don't have any good ways of clearing away debuffs with tech at the moment. So that might be a real problem. We have Colling Wing. Who can dish out a lot of damage. And we have a Taunter again. Making sure that we don't we can we can't control that cloak before he can do his stuff, so that actually might be a little little or uh, Tougher than it might initially seem. I think I'm thinking that this might be this might be dangerous. So I'm really hoping that we get some get some additions to the tech team, and I'm looking forward to trying out Lady Death Strike in there. All right, so let's go to the second note. All right, so uh, let, hey. I'm not checking the same notes as previously, or are they just the same notes? Sorry, that was the that was a wrong note. Yeah, okay. So in here we have uh, okay we have Secret Avengers without Mariah Hill. Uh, we have Doctor Strange, and we have uh, Black Panther and Gamora. So a lot of damage. Uh, also speed ups. Uh, spreading of buffs, control, flipping of your buffs. So that's quite a dangerous looking wave. Feels like uh, uh, the first turns of these characters might be so dangerous that they just wipe, wa wipe you away. So you might need to be sacrificing one team uh, and go go in with the second team after that. I'm not sure, but feels quite dangerous. The second wave, Iron Heart and Rescue together, they're pretty tough, but the node itself, uh, the wave itself, doesn't look too dangerous. So uh, Thanos and Corvus are manageable th to me. So if Iron Heart and Rescue would be would be protecting more dangerous characters, I would be uh, seriously worried about it. But to me, this seems manageable. All right, so now it into the tech boss node, and we can see the same trend in here. So level ninety six red stars in gear tier fifteen. So we got doom, as it seems that all the boss nodes have. We have few new characters, so we have Colin Wynn and Polaris in here. And we have the duo of uh, Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel, which is super dangerous, and they can just delete your characters right away. We got Black Widow with the speed up. Colleen Wing is also a brawler, so she will be uh, Miss Marvel will be assisting her as well. Uh, Polaris and Hela seem a bit out of place in this node, but still dangerous. But yeah, there's a lot of burst at the start, a lot of speed at the start, and we have Doom, which is always dangerous, so definitely looking quite nasty. Second wave has the Dad Bros, uh, Captain Marvel, Mariah Hill. I think this is doable. You just need to control the dad pros, making sure that they they don't get the speed train rolling. And I think otherwise this is this is manageable. Last wave has Black Widow and and Polaris, and you can also see, also see in here like uh, between the waves, you can see when the wave is dropping. So I'm not to concentrate on that. So. Uh, you definitely want to see those and want to check these out once you start playing it. But I'm just trying to see how they how the notes look and what sort of characters they have and does it look like super dangerous or not. Alright, so that was tech. Then then is mystic. 
All right, so Mystic First Node has dangerous characters and a lot of new characters. Actually, they are new, pretty new. Uh, Beast must be the oldest of them, or Bishop. So yeah, we have Kestrel. We have <clears throat> we have a lot of speed. <clears throat> we have uh, uh, a lot of ways to be pinging that defense down that uh, Kestrel does. Luckily, we don't have too many ways of getting uh, those defense downs, but you need to be wary about uh, Beast flipping your defense ups into defense downs, because after that it might just snowball in their favor. Um, but one thing is also good, if you, if you can control Beast, uh, then these guys don't have many ways of getting rid of those uh, debuffs. Of course, Maria Hill has her second ability is the alt, I think. So if you can control those two and put just a lot of debuffs with the with the new warriors, I think this is not this is not as bad as it may seem. The second wave. <laughs> They definitely noticed that uh, Cloak's dodge is really, really good. So they have uh, two Elsa Bloodstones in here. And with a Taunter and, and Ghost Rider, doesn't seem too bad. But the Elsa Bloodstones can definitely be a problem. So if you dodge a lot, they will just, they will just keep hitting you until you're dead. But all in all... I would say this node doesn't. It feels like it's maybe a bit easier than it first looks. All right. Sorry about if you hear the noise behind because that's my washing machine. And the second node. All right. So we have a taunter in here as well. And we got Colin Wing as a new character. We have Dark Ark. We have Taskmaster, definitely something to worry about. And we need to be dealing with uh, Mini as well. I'm not too worried about uh, Crystal or Killmonger. Second wave will have Merc Lieutenant, Ghost and another Killmonger. Doesn't look too bad. The first, first, no, the first waves definitely look doable. <clears throat> but... Uh, let's then, then it's a mystic boss node if I'm correct. All right, so we have um, two taunters, and we have a lot of new characters. So this is definitely a hard node. Uh, there's two ways of clearing debuffs: Maria Hill's ultimate and. And file level special, and of course we're talking about the mystic note, so it's all about the debuff. So you need to be you need to be working with those, and you need to be wondering when to stun or ability block one of these guys, just to make sure that all of your debuffs stay on board. And we got, of course, we got Doom, but I don't think Doom is uh, he's not a problem with the mystics. You can. Uh, charge up your uh, death pool and just one shot him and I know for it's most likely to happen even though these guys are six red stars and level 90 because a well-built uh, death pool can do way over 10 million damage with one hit so even though you might not kill him at one shot he's probably gonna be so low that you'll be finishing him off really fast Okay, uh, this next wave, Gamora and Nebula, definitely a power duo, you need to worry about, um, we have Nick Fury doing some, doing some uh, summons and spreading buffs, which I'm not too worried about because it's played by AI and they usually start with the ultimate 
if they would start with special, that would be a lot more worrying, at least to me. They got Sharon Carter, so there's also a lot of uh, control in that node. Uh, last wave, new characters as well. Sam, Mariah Hill, Gamora and Philo Well. So definitely, it seems like this is a really powerful, they have a lot of power, new characters, a lot of health, a lot of damage, decent amount of control. So it feels like this is a, a sort of a stat test for your team. But doesn't look too complicated in a sense maybe the first wave with Fire and and moon dragon that might complicate things but other than that it doesn't look too complicated all right so let's see the last trait which is mutant and the first wave a lot of new characters so we have a uh, moon dragon and Phyla. we have silver surfer and we have Jubilee and Bishop. And besides that, we have uh, uh, Always Dangerous Squirrel Girl. Hela is manageable. And of course, uh, Merc Lieutenant can be really powerful. Well, he's not powerful, but he makes the other guys powerful. So in that sense, seems quite tough a node and tough a wave, but we shall see how it goes. And the next wave, the last wave, taunting, two taunting tanks and Silver Surfer. And we know how good that is, so definitely going to be a thing to worry about. All right, and let's go to the second node of Mutant. All right, so we have a, <clears throat> we have a long shot in here. So it is possible that you can try to try to work this node with the Mr. Sinister Axeman combo team where you just uh, have two long shots in the board and and just take so much speed meter that you can uh, roll over this node but I've been trying that in 1.1 and it, it feels they just do too much damage for you to survive until you get to that top that point so i'm not sure if it's doable in here and i'm not sure if you want to be investing that much in your dad bros or mr sinister so if you uh, just look at it at uh, the astonishing x-men's point of view definitely looks like there's a lot of damage coming in there's two brawlers with miss marvel so assisting a lot a lot and dad pros doing their uh dual thing and emma of course making everything more difficult so yeah i'm respecting this note definitely uh in the next way we have uh mr sinister's black bolt and and multiple man to me multiple man probably makes this note easier because the axeman can sort of take advantage of the multiple man's clones uh, or summons or i don't know what what they call him call those but when you hit multiple man you will get some clones in the board and when you kill those clones you will get speed meter so in that sense this might be a bit easier after this and we got long shot and black bolt at the end yeah all right okay so was that the second note or the first yeah that's the second note so next is the last boss note all right so mutant boss note and it has oh geez <laughs> okay so we have the zemo we have taskmaster so they have a lot of control they have jubilee as well uh and they have kestrel and they have Doom, so you need to be sort of controlled in the board a lot, but at the same time you need to sort of uh, understand that if you don't deal with that Doom quite soon, you will be dead quite soon. And there's Thanos just waiting to be taunting and just laugh at your 
your future attacks to uh, get his mates <laughs> doomed down. So yeah, that's always something to watch out for. All right, so here we go in deep into the multiverse. So we have two Captain Sams. Uh, sorry, uh, two Sams on the board: Captain Sam and the original Falcon. And we have Sharon Quarter. So uh, there's going to be a lot of speed. Let's just put it like that: a lot of speed. So Cap Sam's ultimate and Falcon special will all do. Speed meter, pump, and Sarah Carter will just control the board and do some damage. And I'm betting that these guys hit a lot, even though they're uh, old characters. I mean, they're uh, the Falcons. So I, I'm still thinking they hit a lot harder than your Falcon would hit. And the last wave. Mariah Hill, Zemo, Thanos, Rock Lieutenant. Uh... It doesn't look too bad, but combined with the previous, it might it might just snowball over you. So, yeah, definitely looks like a dangerous node altogether. So, yeah. Those are the nodes. And as I showed you uh, in the beginning, you can check these nodes yourself by tapping the right corner in here. Pressing missions. Uh, sorry, maps. And then just choose Doom 2 in here, and you can see these nodes yourself. So definitely go there and check those nodes, check those waves, because that might help you get prepared for this uh, raid sooner than later. And I'm, I'm feeling like we should be starting on this a bit faster than some people might think. So, yeah. Hope this helps. Uh, if you have any, any comments, if you have any ideas, if you have any critique, please drop a comment, like, subscribe, all that usual stuff. But all right, thanks for watching and see you again. Bye!